all right here we are that's where we're at the s10 it's the newest color it looks really blue on my camera i'm not sure how it looks on the phone on your screen it's actually uh it's where we're at now i'm not sure we'll keep it this color but i do kind of like it yeah it's spray paint it was spray paint when i bought it it's called seaside comes out a decent color it's kind of like a green blue it's real nice hi goes ellie hi ellie that's my pretty girl yeah, she knows, she, she knows who she is, don't she? <laughs> she knows herself as pretty girl or she does her name. That's Andy boy. Stay out of that. Here we are. Anyway, with the S10. The dog's, get, she's getting more comfortable around here. She used to be real scared. She wouldn't even come in the garage. Hope they're all right, banging off the wall. Stupid dogs. Anyway, here's where we're at with the S10. It's uh, the engine out of the other one. Got most of it off now. Getting it cleaned up. You got the oil pan cleaned up. Mostly. Getting her cleaned up so we can put her back together. Got the parts that go to this one in here. This one has small and stuff. The other one didn't, although I might not put it back on. We'll see. I planned on putting it all back stock. I'm just not sure if I have the small pump and all that stuff here and if it all works. So. But yeah, there's the engine. It's kind of dirty. It's not great, but it ran good. So we got it all warmed up and everything before we pulled it out of the other truck. Make sure it ran good and didn't overheat and didn't have head gasket issues, we hope. None that we could tell anyway. Here's where we're at. And that color looks way different on the phone. Purple looks about the same. I guess it's kind of darker actually in person. It still needs a little work. I'm just on no body man, but man, it looks way better than it did when I got it, right? Considering it was literally in pieces. Remember the cab hanging from the thing, and the cab was delivered a week before the rest of the truck. Come a long way. Still don't know what we're going to ask for when we sell it. Or if I can even talk myself into selling it when I'm done. You can see it's had ball joints and stuff done to it. There's the clutch. Luckily, it's good. Actually, doesn't look very old. Kid did say something about he had the clutch done right before he took the truck apart. He was uh, not in the right frame of mind. You all know what I'm saying. He took this truck apart into pieces in his backyard one day. I'm not sure what was wrong with it before that. But the motor was bad, I guess. And the cab was rusty. So he was going to sw swap cabs, I guess he said. I'm not sure. That's why I took the cab off, he said. I just fixed the rust. I still got to fix the floor. but It'll be all right. Good as new, if not better. Anyway, that's where we're at. I'm trying to find an angle that makes this color look right. But I just can't find one. It's actually more of a green than that. If it looked like that, I'd be really happy. That's so weird. Parts everywhere. Just a little short catch up video on everything. Where we're at. We're just getting this motor put back together. Cleaned up. With all the gaskets here. Brand new motor mounts. New motor mounts. New transmission mount. New rear main seal I gotta put on still. All new, all new gaskets. Probably won't use these. I'm not taking the head off. So. If it had a head gasket issue, I'd take the head off. But I'm sure I'll work on another 2-2. Two -two, so I just bought the whole gasket kit like I usually do. There's some cheap gaskets in there you probably don't want to use. But I'm going to probably change this gasket. The rear main here, I'll change. We just drill some, some self-tappers right in there. And then pull it out with a seal puller or you know, even that. And that'll pull it out. Once you put a self tap, a couple self tappers in there, you know, you just put the screw head on there. You know what I mean? Backwards. But just pry it out of there. And then tap the other one in. A little Vaseline or grease. Choice. Gasket surfaces aren't great, but they're flat enough, they'll seal up. 
they're not warped or anything like that. Just a little tutu. And we got the five speed to go back in it. Everything seems to check out on it. We'll probably drain the fluid out of it, maybe if it has any. No. Not sure what goes in it. I haven't looked it up yet. Just just because he said it was replaced, so might not need to. So he put a transmission in this truck once. He had it for a couple years. It was his first truck, so kind of a teenager beat it up, you know. We don't look bad for spray paint though. He was spray painted black, so we we'll, so. And we bought it. We sanded it back down to metal if y'all don't watch the channel. This truck's been all the way to bare metal. Looked way worse than I thought it did before I started it, so I didn't want to put that, that much work back into it. It was it's really dented up. You can probably see a couple of them in the pictures. There's dents everywhere I didn't fix. Couldn't really see them. Until I put the shiny paint on it. I couldn't tell. Like that black I did, you know, it's all spray paint I put on it. All oh, that's been down to metal. There's a lot of little dents and little marks and stuff. I put this cab corner on crooked, you know, because I didn't have the doors on when I did it. Maybe you can see it kind of kicks out a little bit. It's my bad. <laughs> Not perfect. I just lined the bed up with it the best I can when I put it back together. There's a little bit of adjustment in the bed, in the step that goes there. You know, you can kind of adjust it like this when you put it on a little bit and line it up with this, the cab in the back of the, the bed there, in front of the bed, fender well. Well, thanks for coming by and checking me out. We're also doing a greenhouse in the backyard. I'll walk out there real quick. Guess I didn't have to say. I didn't used to do these pictures for views, but <laughs> made them little cat shorts. If you don't watch cat shorts, and dogs. Hopefully, I'll get some videos when the cats have kittens. The dogs are both fixed though. They're both rescues from the town. We had a bad year for dogs. They all got old on us, and we got new ones from the from the pound. Here's the greenhouse. Anyway, best dogs I ever had. Love them to death. I'm a pretty girl. Except for she tears up everything. If you see the stuff all over the yard, I'll pick it up. She'll tear it up. It's just how she is. She loves cardboard. Like a cat, but she likes to tear it up, not get in it. <laughs> but here's, where, here's, here's the hole. If you've seen the other videos or the shorts of, the, of it, where we fix the shovel. We weld it back together and then dug this hole with it. Still can't really see it, but there you go. It's kind of muddy. There you go. Oh, who that was. Must be the neighbor. I don't even know if you can see that. There's the weld right there. Probably don't even care, but. Like, that's a 15 year old shovel that I've dug everything in this yard with. That's a flat, flat handed shovel. Didn't really fare as well. I used it to, you know, try to flatten the bottom out. You can see all where we put all the dirt. Sorry if I move too fast. It's hard to do in here. See where we put all the dirt up there. Those are all, it's like a pile of rocks. There's all the rocks we took out of the hole when we were digging it. Some of them were already there. But most of them are out of this hole right here. Those are rocks that can't move that are in the ground. I don't know if you can really see how big it is, but it's uh, probably decent sized rocks. You, know, you can step on it. It's like a step walk right over there. I don't know what you can see. The sun's on my screen here. That's a big rock and it's some footings I was pouring for a project I was doing a long time ago. I never finished it. I just That's where the burn pit was. If you've seen any of the other videos, there's a burn pit. That's where it was, right on top of that. That barrel was on top of it. 
We're about done, about ready to put the plastic on it for this year. We don't have to get it all dug out. We're, we're a little late for needing it this year. But we'll still need it for just in case we get a late freeze. I doubt we will though, not this year. It doesn't seem like it. But it has happened. Give you an idea of how much we filled it in over there. You can see on that. Right there, that's a, a two by eight right there. And then there's a couple rocks above it. So I just put that there because I kept getting the wall real crooked trying to just set rocks up. So I put that there to help me keep it straight in her. So we filled in quite a bit with this hole. Kind of gives you a perspective on how big that hole is. <laughs> this is an old swimming pool. And Intex pop up pools. You can tell. You know, these are the uh, legs just regularly put together, and then these these are the extra pieces that go around the edge that aren't in use that are holding the middles together. I will make it longer. It's actually pushed all the way together with these poles. Like these poles here touching the other pole Under, underneath there, I can spread it out that much more. So we probably will eventually. I got another one. Somebody was throwing away on Facebook. I, I went and picked it up about a year ago. I haven't used it yet, but makes about the same size greenhouse and uh, it's a half the size pool, I guess. You know, it wasn't as big. You can see it's got the smaller legs. It is spread out though, so that's kind of what's making the difference. It's not touching in the middle, like the legs only go like here, you know, instead of all the way in. So that one will actually go way bigger. It's a good idea anyway. Cheap way to get a greenhouse with plastic and you have to replace the plastic probably every year. Because that's what all the screws are from. All the way around the edge here. You see all the these screws and some holes where they used to be. It was just sitting on the ground and when it's on the ground it's not really tall enough. That's why I dug the hole in that and so I can use it longer. Yeah, filled in a lot of dirt there. Anyway. anyway, this is Hippie here. <laughs> Heather's Automotive or Hippie's Garage. Still don't know which one we like better. We just still call it Heather's Automotive because we always have. Probably always will. But you can see why people have called me Hippie. I don't call me Hippie. People do. Uh, call me everyone. I don't really care. But I'm Nick. And there's the S10. Still don't know what color we'll keep it, but I'm liking the blue and black. It goes good with the purple frame. The neighbor kid says he likes the blue with the black, but we don't know if he'll, he'll buy it back or if I'll want to sell it because I keep watching people with, I don't know what they sell for, but I see people asking what I was going to ask for this, for ones that are just like this was, or like the one in the driveway when I got it which I wouldn't consider a drivable car. I paid $200 for it when I drove it home, but should I have? Oh, I could probably tell you the torque converter bolts I took out by hand <coughs> when I pulled the motor. <coughs> and it only had two transmission bolts in it. I don't know what else was missing. There's so much stuff that was just like, seriously? And the wiring was not on the motor right. It was just ran tight, pulled where it shouldn't be. A couple of wires were splitting. It's actually what was wrong with it when I got it. The alternator wire was pulled out of the uh, little grommet on the back of the alternator. And it was arcing off the back of the alternator and the motor and killing the motor. That's why the kid sold me the chuck. The frame's rusted in half and it's not very safe right there. That one specific thing. And the title screwed up on it. He just told me it was signed and dated already, so I bought it. And it was dated in the wrong spot, but after someone erased part of it, and they wrote over the erase part, and if you know anything about the DMV, they ain't taking that title. But at least it has a title, and I know it's not a stolen truck. And I can junk it with the title. I don't need it in my name. Scrap guy will come and take it either way. I'll probably just build a trailer out of the back half. And cut it off where the frame's broke. Gotta weld it anyway to make a trailer, so. Anyway, 
Thanks for coming to the channel. Like and subscribe if you don't. If you want, if not, cool too. Have a nice day. Uh, check us out for more. Uh, if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments or hit me up on Facebook. You can find me. Uh, have a nice day.